This is EHJ Today. I'm uh, Tom Lusher, Editor-in-Chief of the European Heart Journal, uh, and I'm here at the Cardiology Update 2017 in Davos, and uh, I'm talking to Jelena templin Godry, and she's a fellow at our institution and a world expert in Takotsubo, right? Thank you. Thank you for coming. So, for our viewers, we, they would like to know what is actually Takotsubo. First of all, it's a strange name. Where does it come from? Yes, um, the name Takotsubo. Um, first time um, the disease was described in 1990 by a Japanese cardiologist, Dr. Sato, and he published five cases of patients of, with um, apical ballooning on um, coronary angiography. And um, Takotsubo patients present with similar um, features like patients with acute coronary syndrome. So they have chest pain, dyspnea, and on ECG they present with a T-segment elevation. And um, if patients undergo a coronary angiography, we see usually normal coronary arteries. Exactly, yeah. But on LV angiography, we see a, a typical pattern, which we call apical ballooning, for instance. So um, the heart... And what does Takotsubo then mean? Yeah. This is a Japanese word, isn't it? It's a Japanese word. Um, it means um, octopus pot, mm -hmm. uh, because the left ventricle during systole resembles this octopus pot, uh, which you can, um, yes. The Japanese fishermen use it to catch the octopus. Yes, exactly. Okay, so in the cast lab, they wonder that patient comes like an infarction, has a ECG changes, and coronary arteries are normal. So, how can they make the diagnosis? So, um, uh, nor so uh, as I pointed out, coronary uh, coronary arteries um, are opened, but yeah. they have this um, wall motion dysfunction, which is life threatening. In fact, so patients can also die of this um, acute heart failure condition. So the the ventricle is really big and ballooned, yes, and, and of course, left ventricular function is depressed. So can I, is there a way to, to diagnose this disease before entering the cath lab? No, until now we don't have any uh, tools to diagnose Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. So we are working uh, on some uh, non-invasive tools, I mean cardiac MRI, but it's not practical in the acute setting. Right. And uh, we also, we, are we have established a diagnostic score. Yeah, the InterTAC score, so tell me. Yes, um, it's a score, it, uh, it uh, contains seven variables, non-invasive variables. Namely? Uh, namely, female gender, physical triggers, emotional triggers, QTC prolongation, ST segment, absence of a C segment, depression, um, and um, uh, emotional triggers. So it is a whole variety of clinical presentation. And so it's mainly females, huh? Yes, the disease um, affects mainly females and around 90%, but also men can be afflicted with this disease and also younger women. Right, but in typically these are postmenopausal women, aren't exactly. they? Exactly, so right. around 80% are over 50 years. So how, co how, how come that uh, this ventricle is so dilated and dysfunctional and yet the coronary arteries are normal? So w what's, the, what's the cause of this disease? Today there are uh, many speculations about the pathophysiology. Um, we think that there might be a microvascular dysfunction to, due to a microvascular constriction mm -hmm. uh, leading to this syndrome. So there is ischemia of the myocardium, but it's not related to the epicardial arteries. Exactly, exactly. But of course, I mean, um, uh, we 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 don't know the exact pathophysiology. Yes. This yes. is a one. There is some evidence that there is this microvascular constriction in these patients. But you mentioned a lot of triggers like uh, stress, emotional stress, physical stress. So. What are these triggers and how would they, how do we think this affects the coronary myocardium? So we think that there are predisposing factors leading to Takotsubo syndrome, mm -hmm. which are stress factors, which mm -hmm. are maybe age, mm -hmm. which are gender mm -hmm. and hormones. Mm -hmm. and Or lack of hormones. Probably, yeah. and maybe which are neurologic and psychiatric disorders. Mm -hmm. So um, we think on the one hand there are these predisposing factors. On the other hand, maybe there might be an activated sympathetic nervous system 
because uh, we saw that in these patients catecholamines are increased. So they constrict the microcirculation. Exactly. exactly. And on, on the other hand, we believe that there is an activated brain-heart interaction, uh, which is also involved because right. we, we investigated patients um, with Takotsubo syndrome and we investigated their brains. With MRI, with functional MRI. Functional MRI and found um, anatomical and functional differences within the limbic system. So really the, the brain talks to the heart and uh, constricts the microcirculation and you have left ventricular dysfunction. And so what's, what's the outcome of these patients? Is this uh, a trivial disease that goes away or how do you see that? Uh, it was regarded as a benign disease, in fact, mm -hmm. but we know today that it is associated with a substantial morbidity and mortality in the acute phase. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's, it's absolutely a life-threatening condition. It has to be taken serious. Why uh, can they die of this disease? Yes, they can suffer um, a variety of complications, such as cardiogenic shock, right. um, such as stroke, because the uh, apex is not moving anymore. So a thrombus can develop and right. they can embolize, embolize with stroke. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, yeah, acute heart failure. And um, these uh, complications uh, can even lead to death. Do you even describe the uh, rupture of the, uh, of the uh, left ventricle in, yes. under these conditions? Also a, a rare, con a rare mm -hmm. complication, which can also occur. Mm -hmm because it pumps like hell at the base and the uh, rest does not. So what do I do as a physician if I have such a patient? You have uh, to monitor this patient carefully. Um, we recommend to do monitoring for 48 hours because mm -hmm. they can, um, they can um, uh, develop arrhythmia. Sure. Often in these patients we see a prolonged QTC time. Mm -hmm. So um, these patients have to be monitored and um, we also try to um, treat complications. Uh, so, yeah, today there are no, um, uh, there's no uh, treatment. No evidence-based. No evidence-based treatment, yes. sorry. Mm -hmm. And so we treat, uh, treat them like an acute heart failure. Right, situation, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you did also in your study that you published in New England, uh, you also looked at some drugs that may affect the syndrome. And uh, one that was surprising was, was the beta blockers. Tell us a bit about the beta blockers. Yes, um, so um, we investigated the medication in, in relation uh, to, uh, to, the, uh, to, the mor to mortality. And we found that ACE inhibitors and ARBs, but not beta blockers, were associated with an improved survival uh, at one year. And this was surprising because beta blockers were recommended in mm -hmm. Takotsubo because it inhibits the sympathetic nervous system. Right. And from animal studies, uh, we know that, or it was suggested that they may have beneficial effects. So we were surprised. Even patients, if I remember well, they had a beta blocker when they came and exactly. still had a talk with Absolutely. And around 30% patients mm -hmm. were uh, taken beta blockers at the time of the Takotsubo event. So I think, um, of course, it is, it is difficult to say because this was a retrospective analysis right. and we need uh, prospective trials, but um, this is quite interesting. So maybe it's not the beta receptor that's activated, but maybe more the alpha receptor. So what's the next, what's the plan in your projects yeah, now? What are you <coughs> heading to? So Takotsubo is a fascinating disease, yeah. which with many uh, unsolved puzzle pieces. Right. So uh, I think we need to work in an interdisciplinary team together with clinicians and scientists, maybe also neuroscientists, to uncover the real mechanism and to understand Takotsubo better. And of course we should convince uh, our colleagues, but maybe also industry to do randomized trials yes, so that we really know what we're doing. Eh? Yes. Well, thank you very much thank for you. a great interview. Thank, thank you. you.